It's hard to imagine how you could experience anything without a self, not to mention how you would function. Nonetheless, experience continues without a self, and so does functioning. Part of the difficulty in understanding no self is that you likely confuse consciousness with self-consciousness, but the two are distinct, and it is possible to have consciousness without having self-consciousness. One way of understanding this is by pointing out the fact that you easily recognize this possibility with animals. Generally speaking, animals are conscious, but they are not self-conscious, with a few possible exceptions. In other words, animals don't have a self, yet they have conscious experiences and function perfectly well in their environments. So although you might initially imagine no self as a non-conscious and non-functional state, this is a mistake and the conscious experiences and functioning of animals demonstrate this. To be clear, I'm not suggesting that the human experience of no self is equivalent to animal consciousness. I'm just bringing up animal consciousness to establish that consciousness can occur in the absence of self-consciousness and also that it can be a functional state. So no self is a form of human consciousness. It is a form of human consciousness in which there is no self. It is human consciousness without self-consciousness. Yet it is a perfectly functional form of consciousness.